Hello and welcome to this extremely rapid demo on using Podman to containerize a Spring Boot application. This is a clean rel 8 system. Simply install Podman using DNF. Podman is a drop-in replacement for Docker. You can even create an alias. I'm creating a Podman directory with a dev and a live subdirectory. In this example, I'm only concerned with dev. In the dev directory, I'll create the most simplest of Docker files to demonstrate how an executable jar can be containerized. The first line defines a base container image, in this case the official OpenJDK image that uses Alpine Linux. The second line tells it to copy my executable jar file to the root of the new container image. I'm using the Spring Boot package made from my Hello World with Spring Boot video. The third line tells it the command to run when the container starts, which is simply how you'd use Java to run a Spring Boot application, specifying a port for it to listen on. I'm setting it as a default 8080. Making sure my jar file is also present in the same dev directory as this docker file, I can now build my new container image locally. It will pull the base OpenJDK image then create my new one called hello. Images can be listed by using the podman image ls command which lists container images available on my local system. Using Podman LS, I can see no containers are currently running. And now I can start the container using my new image. In this case, mapping port 80 to port 8080, which is the port the container was defined to listen on. Using Podman PS, I can also now see my container running. Great, so now in a browser I can specify the IP address of the virtual machine where I'm running the container, leaving off any port because I mapped it to the regular HTTP port 80. And there we go, how to containerize a Spring Boot application in a nutshell. Thanks for watching, good luck, and skill up.